Hello, welcome to Hersco Online, where we look at educational tips and tricks for dispensing custom foot orthotics, custom molded shoes, and ankle AFOs. In this segment, we're going to take a look at ankle AFOs, the Ritchie brace, and the plastic and leather ankle gauntlet, sometimes referred to as the Arizona. These are quite frequently prescribed by physicians. These devices are excellent for treating certain conditions and each has its own unique advantages and disadvantages. The principle behind their operation is controlling tibial rotation and this is directly coupled to the joints of the foot, the subtalar joint and the talonavicular joint. Rotation of the joints of the rear foot complex are controlled by controlling tibial rotation. Specifically, pronation is due to internal rotation of the tibia and inversion or supination is due to external rotation of the tibia. First, let's take a look at the Ritchie brace. It was developed by a California podiatrist, Dr. Douglas Ritchie. It is used to treat certain cases of posterior tibial tendonitis dysfunction, arthritic degenerative joint disease, and lateral ankle sprains. It consists of two primary components. It is a balanced, custom, fully functional foot orthotic with high SMO trim lines with medial and lateral clips and a deep heel cup. This is then connected to two uprights it is designed to control motion above and below the ankle joint. The beauty of the Ritchie brace is that it incorporates a fully functional custom foot orthotic along with uprights. However, it is not as bulky as a traditional AFO. Thus, it fits in more shoes and is more easily tolerated by patients. Also, because of the hinged uprights, it allows plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, which aids in angulation. A traditional ankle gauntlet, on the other hand, encompasses the entire foot and ankle complex and has a closure, usually consisting of laces or Velcro. It offers more control and it's used for the same indications as the Ritchie brace, but it's often better for patients who are heavier or who have a more serious version of the disease. Patient-specific considerations will determine the choice of closure. You can have lace, Velcro, or some combination of both. Laces tend to be more secure and will offer more control whereas Velcro is easier for patients who have difficulties with activities of daily living. Ankle gauntlets can be constructed with cut-out heels. This allows for an easier shoe fit, although it does reduce some of the control that the patient will get from the device. In addition, you can vary the linings using leather or plastazote, and pads and cushions can be incorporated into the design of the actual device. Both Ritchie braces and ankle gauntlets are excellent devices to control problems in the rear foot complex. Ritchie braces are probably a little easier for patients to tolerate, whilst the ankle gauntlet gives more control. If you would like to read further on ankle AFOs, please visit our website, hersco.com, and click on the Education tab. Thank you once again for joining Hersco Online.